Hey, new developers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's learn Python by creating a simple app that will take user input and write it to a file. The first thing you must do is install the latest version of Python. To do that, open a terminal window on your Linux machine and issue the command sudo apt-get install python3 y. If you're using a Red Hat based distribution, that command would be sudo dnf install python3 y. To verify that the installation succeeded, issue the command python3 version. You should see the version number of Python printed out. The first thing we'll do is create a new directory to house the Python projects. Issue the command mkdir tilde slash python. Change into that new directory with the command cd tilde slash python. Our first two lines of code are simple variable declarations for input 1 and input 2. Input 1 equals input parentheses double quote software title colon double quote parentheses. Input 2 equals input parentheses double quote license number colon double quote parentheses. The next section defines the file that will save our user input. We need our file to append new input to the end of the file. Otherwise, every time the app is used, it'll overwrite the previous input. For that, we use the A option for append. So now, our file open section looks like file equals open, parentheses, double quote, licenses.txt, double quote, comma, space, double quote, A, double quote, parentheses. Next comes the final and largest section of our app, the output. We'll be using our variables, input 1 and input 2, from the input section, in conjunction with the file.write function, which writes input to a file. The first line is file.write, parentheses, input 1, parentheses. This will take whatever the user types for input 1 and save it to the licenses.txt file. The next line is file.write parentheses double quote colon double quote parentheses. The above line writes a colon directory after the input one variable. Anything in quotes is actually printed directly to the output file. Next we take the input from the input two variable and write it directly after the colon. In addition to that, we're going to add a new line option to add a carriage return. So after the final input, the next file.write will start on a new line. This is done with file.write, parentheses, input 2, and, double quote, backslash, n, double quote, parentheses. The backslash n is read as a new line in Python 3. Our next line writes out the dashes and adds a new line like so. File.write, parentheses, double quote, dash, 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 double quote, and, double quote, backslash, n, double quote, parentheses. Lastly, we close out the file write session with the line file.close parentheses parentheses. And that's it for our Python 3 code. We add comments so that the entire file looks like that shown in the article below. All Python apps end with the .py extension. So create a new file with the command nano license.py. Copy and paste the entire code into the newly created license.py file. Save and close the file. Now we can run our app using the Python 3 command like so. Python 3 license.py. You will first be asked for the software title, followed by the software license. After entering the software license, the app will close. You can then view the licenses.txt file to see that the new input has been appended to the end of the file. Hey, everybody. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.